Do you think that the current protest in Kenya has the potential to plunge the country into a state of anarchy? Currently, no, but depends on the progress in terms of the actions of the government. That is, if we see things like sacking people who are involved in corruption, we see things like pay cuts from government officials, then the, state will not, the country will not be plunged into a state of anarchy. But if the proceedings as, are, as they are right now continue, then most definitely it will, it will trigger the country to do so. That's, that's an interesting perspective. Yeah. And to those saying that it is a defeatist mindset mm -hmm. to say that the country can plunge into a state of emergency due to the Tuesdays and Thursdays progress, mm -hmm. what can you say to people with that kind of mindset? Uh, I think people should approach this issue with an open mindset. Uh, the, the government is open to dialogue, but the Gen Z's, we are saying that we want to see action first. So the government should just play its part by acting promptly, like the things I've just said right now. Pay cuts, we want to see JSS teachers being brought into jobs, we want to see intern doctors being given what they want. They, they're being given pay rise or things like that. So when the government does what it does, then we the people will not have a problem. So my approach is let everyone approach this thing with an open mind because there is no rigid way of dealing with this issue. Yeah. Interesting. Senator Halwale said that the finance bill was a trigger to the Tuesdays and Thursdays protest. Do you think that the recent protests were due to the finance bill to the before, or was a trigger, or was both? I think the finance bill was a trigger to the protest, but you know we were not only asking for the finance bill issue to be addressed, we are talking on corruption, we are talking about, we want to see where did the fertilizer saga, how did it end, we want to see the people who are involved in corruption, what actions have been taken against them, we want to see the office of the deputy, of the spouse of the president, of the spouse of the deputy president, of the spouse of the vice, the Mudavadi office. We want to see where, what has happened to these offices. With this money that we are paying, our ta we, the problem is not paying tax, the problem is accountability of this money that we are paying as tax. So, what I think is the finance bill was just a, a tip of the iceberg. We want, there's so many things that are involved. Yeah.